Hello, Internet folk. Uh, Jeff Lubin of Practically Tactical here, and I'm going to be talking about an interesting product uh, from my friend Adam Roth of Aridus Industries, and it is a um, an alternative uh, shotgun ca shell caddy. So you got a couple different options. You can use uh, Velcro, you know, put uh, the female piece or the male piece or whatever on the side of the receiver, and then have the shot cards that go onto it. You can do a traditional side saddle, which doesn't give you a quick reload of your reload ability. And then you've got this uh, really cool um, Aridus Industries shot shell carrier. And the way that it works is, um, there's a couple different models, first of all. You've got one for the Remington 870, the ubiquitous Remington 870, uh, for the Mossberg 590, and then you've got a universal model which will fit most shotguns, quite frankly. So what happens is, you take this handy dandy thing. Uh, this is the universal model. What it comes with is this um, super duper tacky uh, stuff, so you'd use some denatured alcohol or alcohol wipes or whatever, hit the side of your receiver, just make sure it's nicely degreased, peel these suckers back, don't get them on your fingers, go like that, and it's positioned properly. Uh, I also think that it's rather thoughtful that he has a cutout here so that you can see uh, where the serial numbers are on most shotguns, So, which is especially important if you've got like an SBS, short bout shotgun, cool guy shotgun, whatever. So. Um, one important note is that uh, with with what comes in a lot of traditional shotguns is this type of forend where it gives you a longer de uh, uh, area for purchase with your support hand when you're racking that slide. However, it does cover some of the receiver. So if you've got one of these uh, forends, you got a couple different options. One, you can um, modify this, just hacksaw it, dremel it, whatever, or you can replace the forend with a different model. Okay. Just uh, something too worthy of note. Uh, I got my trusty Remington 870, which is super cool, I might add. Uh, I redid the wood, so thank you so much. And uh, we're using some Breast Cancer Awareness Federal uh, Birdshot Ammunition, so I'm going to show you it in action now. Uh, obviously, for your per your preference, you can either have the shells uh, upward or downward, whatever, don't care. But uh, here's the way it works. Okay, so here's how it works. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of show it in real time. So I'll just load one round into my handy dandy trusty 870, present the shotgun. From there, what I'll do is I'll load it right out of the shell carrier, load one in the chamber, kind of make this go kind of quick. I do two rounds. There. Ah. They kind of wear in a little bit with uh, more practice when you get them and they're brand new, they're pretty tight. There, one in, and there. So from there, I have no more shells to use. So what I'll do is I'll take another carrier, and let's see, make sure I position this right. Uh, it's also, it's kind of neat, these fit into uh, like M4 pouches, so you can have them, you know, on a rig or whatnot. And there's a little release tab here. I'll swipe that out, that guy gets out, and I will put the new one on. And from there I can continue running the shotgun. So interesting, just a pretty robust swipe, indexing it on the side, and uh, you've got six more shells. So kind of a neat little, little accessory for your shotgun. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, rather brief video, an overview of this Aridus Industries uh, shotgun shell caddy. Um, you can get more information of them on the interwebs as well as on Facebook and I think on Instagram. Additionally, you should check out our On Target episode where we do an interview with Adam Roth about the process and the, 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 the product itself. Uh, thank, special thanks to Alliance PD Range for letting us use their facility for more information on the training schedule they are presenting. Again, as we've said in other videos, it's not just for police. Uh, private citizens come and train at the facility all the time. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, go ahead and go below and like it. Click the like button, subscribe to our channel, check out the description box for further details, and we'll see you in the next video.